Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over how to connect your Tuxedo Touch Wi-Fi to Wi-Fi. Uh, so first thing I want to touch base on is the Tuxedo Touch Wi-Fi is the only Tuxedo Touch that has the Wi-Fi built in. The original Tuxedo Touch only had a port for Ethernet. So if you guys are trying to connect to your Wi-Fi and you're trying to figure out why your Tuxedo Touch is not pulling up Wi-Fi connection or anything like that, make sure you guys actually have a Tuxedo Touch Wi-Fi, right? That's a common mistake, common confusion, and it's just gonna save you guys a lot of headache. Um, one cool thing about the Tuxedo Touch Wi-Fi is that it also has an Ethernet port in the back. So if you guys don't wanna connect it to Wi-Fi, you feel like the Cat6, Cat5, Cat5 or Cat6 cable is more secure, you guys can always do that as well, all right? But again, if you guys wanna connect to Wi-Fi, you guys do have the option to connect that on the Tuxedo Touch Wi-Fi. Now, the other important thing about the Tuxedo Touch Wi-Fi is a lot of people get this keypad control, uh, this, this keypad for their visual systems because they think it's a communicator. This Tuxedo Touch Wi-Fi will not communicate alarm signals. It is not used as a communicator to the central station. It has nothing to do with the way that your panel sends out the alarm signals. This is just so that the keypad connects to the Wi-Fi to pull in AccuWeather so you guys can log into its IP address through a web browser and you guys can actually pull up a web emulator as well. All right, so this is not an alarm net communicator. It is just a keypad that connects to the Wi-Fi and I just wanna make sure I clear that up before we move on to connecting to the Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and get started, right? So first thing we wanna do is on the bottom left-hand corner, you should see a little gear wrench icon. We're gonna go ahead and hit that. That's gonna be our settings. After we're there, we're gonna go to IP. Once we're in IP, very important, you wanna make sure, bottom left-hand corner, make sure LAN is set to off, all right? Wi-Fi is set to on. Once you're there, it should pull up all your Wi-Fi networks. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and select the one that you plan to use. For instance, I'm gonna use Alarm Grid. So I'm gonna select that, and then, let me see here. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it as dynamic IP. And usually it asks you to answer in a password, but I'm already connected to it. It looks like it had, had been connected to it before. So I'm gonna actually show you guys how to connect to a different Wi-Fi. So this is one of our other Wi-Fi's here. And if you're not already connected to it, it's actually gonna ask you guys for the passphrase or shared key. So if you click on that box, it'll bring up a keypad so you can enter in your Wi-Fi password. So I'm gonna enter mine in right now. You enter in your password, you're gonna hit go. And then after you have all that entered in, you hit the little floppy disk icon in the middle. That's gonna, sa that's gonna save it, that's gonna save your information. And then it'll let you know if it's successfully connected or not. If you guys ever need to go back in, disconnect, reconnect to a different network, if you guys have multiple Wi-Fi networks and you need one over the other, again, um, just go back to IP and it'll show it right there. All right, um, since I'm connected to ATT, if I go to it, it's already gonna show connected. Um, now, if you guys wanna use the hardwired ethernet connection. So if you guys don't want to use Wi-Fi, just turn the Wi-Fi off, turn LAN on. And then that's gonna look for the, that's gonna get the IP address from the actual ethernet port on the back of the system. All right, um, obviously you want to save your work whenever you're done. I'm gonna leave my Wi-Fi on for now. Um, so as you saw here, as soon as I switch Wi-Fi to on, it says this will switch off the LAN network and you want to continue, just hit yes. So it looks like it'll automatically switch the LAN to off and Wi-Fi will stay on. And then you can just hit save, if, uh, no changes in settings, and then just back out to the home screen. If you guys have any questions, if you guys are having any trouble at all, feel free to contact us. Our email is support at alarmgrid.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel and enable the notifications so whenever we upload new videos, new content, you guys do get notified. All right, I'm George from Alarm Grid and I'll see you guys next time.